It's so annoying. Yeah. Because you uh, got to change them so much, and then you can't remember which one is which, and which one is this, and then, right, so tell us what's new. Well, there are two issues today with the internet. So first of all is identity theft, which is, uh, which is on the rise uh, in recent years, and the other thing is forgetting your passwords, like <laughs> you said. So regard, what facilitates identity theft? So first of all, password theft is the main cause of identity theft. Then there are stolen or weak passwords when you use really weak ones, and using the same password across multiple yeah. uh, platforms. That's a problem. And the other thing is really forgetting your password. So in the future, there's no such thing as <laughs> clicking forget or forgot your password. So this is how it will work. If you want to log on to a website, what you do is you receive an alert to your smartphone and you use your fingerprint using the uh, biometric uh, technology in your, in your phones in order to sign in. And this is how so you that connect authenticates to the website. that it's you. Exactly. And you could also, you'll be able to also but use... So that'll uh, be, so it'll be through the smartphone. So like any Anything that requires a password, it just makes it one universal password. Like exactly, through instead your of clicking, instead of typing in a password on the website, you get a link or an alert to your no, smartphone. And, and several websites. Exactly, and several websites. Right. And by the way, if you look here in Israel, there are several organizations or companies. For example, uh, Bank Poalim. If you use their website, uh, their application, you can log in using your biometric data. And the same with Maccabi, for example. So more and more companies. More and are more using companies that. within within yeah. Israel. All right, fantastic. Thanks, Billy. Have a good weekend. You too. See you next week. Yeah. Facebook uh